What's good, Joe? It's your boy Sean P. The Bluff Guy. Hey, and we are back with another One Piece reaction. Today we will be reacting to Par Vision. He is going to be telling us how Rocks D. Zebek is stronger. Hmm. You know, I was recommended. To watch this theory by a few people. So I was like, you know what? I'll schedule it in for my next reaction video. So that's what we're going to do today. The title of the day, today's video is The Strongest Character Has Appeared. It's right in our faces. And this is indeed by Par Vision. But before we get into the video, Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts on the video we are watching and my reaction. Where did I get it wrong? Where did Parvision get it wrong? Let me know down in the comments. Also, follow me on Twitch so you can catch me live and you can engage with me in real time. And... Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And make sure you join the Discord. Join the Discord. That is going to be the best place to engage with me at. That's where I'm usually the most active in. Also, uh, it's the best place to send me content to react to. If it's One Piece content, I'll definitely react to it on a One Piece reaction stream. And if it's if it's something else, I'll probably react to it on like a, a chill stream or something. So, if you want to send me content, the Discord. Come be a part of my community. So, the video we are reacting to, right? Now, I've seen this video before people suggested for me to react to this video. I've seen this video, and it's like one of them theories I just kind of, my mind can't really accept. You know, it's like I put that wall up. It's just like stronger, Zebek. You know, and I, I know it's possible, right? It's possible. Anything's possible, but it's just one of them I don't see, right? It's one of them I can't see. So hopefully Parvision can break it down and change my mind. But at the moment, I will not lie to you guys. It's not It's not a, 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 a strong theory for me, at, at least without the evidence, right? Like maybe after I watch the video, some evidence is what will... will persuade me otherwise i mean hey this this would if so this wouldn't be the first theory that i wasn't really for like going into but after watching it kind of made me a believer you know par vision par vision kind of got you know he knows how to convince he makes compelling arguments but I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be one of them theories, man. I'm not going to even lie. I don't know if this is going to be a theory that I'm going uh, to jump on. But, hey, if Power Vision could change my mind, hey, that just kind of that just kind of speaks to why I follow the man and why I like reacting to Power Vision's content, right? But, hey, it is what it is. Let's get into the video. I don't want to waste any more time because I'm really interested to hear this argument on why stronger is uh rocks these are back so let's get into it the true mystery of the world is the visible not the invisible and there's three things in the world that can't stay hidden the sun the moon and the truth bars bars And the truth is what I'm here to uncover. I want to take a deeper look at a theory baby that Sai and I had after chapter 1063 surrounding the Blackbeard Pirates. If you want to see more of our lovemaking, go check out our weekly collabs that we have every <laughs> chapter. Their lovemaking. Uh, I, I got, his name is Sive or I thought it was Siv. I always said Siv for some reason. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Hey, my bad, bro. I didn't mean to say your name. After chapter 1063 surrounding the black uncover i want, I want, I want to, to take to say a deeper right. look at a theory baby that sai and i had after Psy, chapter Psy. 1063 surrounding the blackbeard pirates 
If you want to see more of our lovemaking, go check out our weekly <laughs> collabs that we have every chapter after my live reaction and then posted on his channel. Sai and I both came up with a really fun and crazy theory from two different directions, and the more we talked about it, the more realistic and fun it became. Then I talked about it more with Dak Sake, and we turned this theory into a warrior. So heads up, this theory starts out tame, like a tamed horse, if you will, but it quickly evolves into a beautiful Pegasus. There's hey, shout out to Dak Sake. I think that was the stream that I, uh, I think I um joined that. I mean, I wasn't part of the stream, but I think I was in the co in the chat, you know, chatting with, you know, probably with you guys, chatting with Dex and Parvision. It was a it was a good stream, but I don't remember this specific moment. So maybe it might be a different stream, honestly. Could be a different stream, but I do remember making it to one of their collabs, which was a pretty good collab. There's so many hidden meanings I moshed together for this intro, but that's what this channel is all about, making connections. So if you're new to the channel, the way I view the world is by making connections. So let me connect you to my vision, the par vision. Par vision. All right, to retrace yeah. the steps of the conception of this theory, baby. It was a really late night, and there I was with Sai. I was sick, but Sai was there to take care of me in my time of need and give me several doses of serotonin in ways you could only... Sounds like a wonderful love story right here. I'm, 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 I'm liking it, man. I ship it. I ship it. I ship it. I ship it. Find out by watching the full conversation. But where this conversation started was in dissecting Law's predicament with Blackbeard in chapter 1063. Law is the Opie Opie Nomi wielding monster captain in line in bounty with Gear 5 Yonko Luffy. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think going to happen to Law. Y'all think, think uh, Law is going to escape? You guys think Law is going to get captured by Blackbeard? You think he's going to get killed by Blackbeard? You think Blackbeard is going to try to take his devil fruit? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know down in the comments or the chat. What y'all think is going to happen? Like, what's going to be the, the, the backlash of this whole Law and Blackbeard fight? Because, again, I don't see Law beating Blackbeard. You know, at, at this point, Blackbeard, I think Law, like, whatever happened is going to show Blackbeard's prog like progress and how powerful he is i so i don't really know what's gonna happen to law i don't see him winning this fight and i know he, he a lot of people say he's gonna try to escape but how do you escape somebody who has a teleporter with them right like if law does try to escape blackbeard could just tele teleport to his location with van auger's devil fruit ability so i don't know how law escapes so i Right now, to me, the only real options is, you know, maybe somebody interferes and saves Law. Law gets defeated and, and, and Blackbeard takes him. Or maybe Blackbeard leaves him. Or Law gets killed. I I don't know. I, I don't see, I don't really see Law dying in just a random fight. Like, if he's going to die, it's going to be like a... It's going to be an event or something. You know what I mean? It's going to be like Blackbeard trying to take his devil fruit or something. So I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared for law at this point. Like we've been real. I'm kind of scared for law, you know, cause it's Blackbeard of all characters. Any other character I could see him winning or escaping Blackbeard. I don't know. And so normally you would think that there wouldn't be many people who could give a law a run for his money. But Blackbeard, arguably one of the most threatening Yonkos, showed up to ambush Law. Most people would think Blackbeard alone could defeat Law, even if it was extreme difficulty. But then we start taking into account the context of the situation. Along with Blackbeard, his crewmates that are with him includes Burgess with the strong, strong fruit, Van Auger with the warp, warp fruit, Doc yeah. Q with the sick, sick fruit, and Stronger with the mythical Zoan Pegasus fruit. Then we have to add Law's crew, and I don't think it takes a mathematical genius to realize that Law's crew is a negative for Law's side. Most of his crew are essentially walking civilians that masquerade as pirates, and given Law's good nature... I mean, again, I, I, I think this, this, this uh, theory came out before the, the recent chapter, and based on the last chapter, right, um, 1064... It, I don't know when you guys are watching this on YouTube, but 
based on the, the most recent chapter 1064, Lost Crew seems pretty, they seem capable somewhat. Like, I don't know if they're going to be good enough to fight like the current crew Blackbeard has with them at the moment. But it don't seem like they just going to lay down either. Like, and I'm talking about Lost Crew. I'm not talking about Law. Uh, of course, Law is, is capable, right? Of course, we know Law is pretty strong pretty strong but his crew which i would normally agree with par vision on this based on the last chapter law's crew seems capable of something you know they don't just seem like they just gonna get walked over by the blackbeard pirates so yeah but i still i still do agree with par i don't think we haven't seen enough from law's crew for me to say that they are going to be able to take on Blackbeard's crew in a long drawn out fight. So yeah, I kind of, I still do agree with, 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 with Parvision. Nature, he cares very much for them. Demonstrating his self-sacrificial nature for his crew on Wano, Blackbeard could take any one of them as hostage and put Law in a compromised position. And on top of everything, we know that Blackbeard does not care about anime honorable fights. He simply cares about winning. So while I have my various theories about how Law survives this situation, the place I want to focus on is what we learned of while Oda tipped the scales in Blackbeard's favor. The biggest surprise besides each character having the fruits that they had was that Stronger, the horse that Doc Q rides, has a mythical Zoan fruit, which hit both of us in an interesting way. While everyone else's fruits are extremely formidable, we just came off of Wano, where mythical Zoan fruits were showcased and placed on a pedestal, even to the point several people came up with theories that Blackbeard, being the important character that he is, would have a mythical human fruit or mythical mythical Zoan fruit in general. Then we see that the random ho I low-key, look, I low-key think that the yami yami know me, right? I, 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 I've I said this before, but I'm going to say it again, right? I kind of think the yami yami know me might be uh, similar to the gummo gummo know me, right? Like, its name or, or its history, right? The history of the yami yami know me might have been covered right like like it could have been said to be a logia when it really could be the hito hito no me uh let's say moon god or something where luffy has the hito hito no me nika which is the sun god from from what we know right maybe blackbeard has the moon god version of it or the Whoever the anti the antithesis of Nika was back in his day, maybe Blackbeard has that version of it, right? So let's say Nika. Nika is the Luffy of his day, and maybe Blackbeard is the the embodiment of a of somebody who was around the same time as Nika who opposed Nika, right? Like Nika's rival. Maybe that's who Black, maybe that's the devil fruit Blackbeard has. And if you look at the devil fruits, the Gummo Gummo no Me, and you look at the uh, the Yami Yami no Me, they look very similar in some ways. They're both purple. Uh, one has a stem and the other one has a leaf. Uh, one is like, one is, um, I think, smooth all around, and the other one's a little leafy, like the texture of it. But they do look similar. So, I mean, maybe it's mostly because they're both purple, but still, <laughs> still, like, it it wouldn't shock me if we learned, the, like, that, that Blackbeard's devil fruit, that the Yami Yami no Mi has some secret origin, right? It wouldn't shock me. And when you look at it, right, like, we, a lot of people, when we were speculating about Luffy's devil fruit not really being a Promethean, it being the zone, because he has transformations, the gears, right, which could be looked at as transformations. Blackbeard's devil fruit don't really work like other Logias, you know? It doesn't work like Logias, so is it really a Logia, or is is that what they make, is that what they want us to think, you know? Horse was given arguably one of the rarest and most important fruits, which might have given us the answer to something that the community has questioned for so long. 
which is who is Blackbeard's 10th Titanic captain. I mean, many think Aokiji is there, whereas I think Aokiji would be more like an alliance or partnership rather than an... Bro, I said, I, 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 I've said before that I believe the 10th Titanic captain could be Rox Zebek. Or I also said like a situation where the real 10th Titanic captain is... And this might sound kind of backwards. Like when I say this, y'all might be like, what? That don't make sense. The real 10th Titanic captain is Blackbeard himself. And you probably said, well, Blackbeard is the captain. So that doesn't even make sense. What if the real captain of the crew, the real boss, the person who's really calling the shots in the Blackbeard crew is Rox D. Zebek. And Blackbeard, like the, the actual Blackbeard is just a figurehead or he's he's just like he's really a temp, he's really a captain so because my belief and, and the reason why i kind of don't want to believe that stronger is the uh is, is rocks these back is because i i'm still of the belief that blackbeard has multiple souls and i believe zebek is one of them souls and that's why i think blackbeard wants gecko moria and probably wants um Boa, because if let's say rocks let's say rocks's body like his actual body is turned to stone for example maybe he needs boa's devil fruit to uh turn like unpetrify rocks these back but then after that you know his body is probably going to be dead so you got gecko moria to turn his to uh turn his to to reanimate his corpse, you you take the soul out of Blackbeard or his shadow. You take Zebex's shadow out of Blackbeard. You put it into a zombie body to his, to his corpse that will be a zombified now. And then you bring back Zebek, who could potentially be either the 10th Titanic captain or he could be the captain of the, the Blackbeard Pirates. And Marshall D. Teach himself could be just... One of 10 Titanic captains. Underling, others have said Jin, Caribou, even Don Krieg, Law, Kid, and so many others. I heard Law. But I think I especially Law. now, given that the horse Stronger has a mythical Zoan, that creates the stronger possibility that Stronger is the 10th Titanic captain of the crew. So you're probably like, a horse? A horse is a Titanic captain? <laughs> That's One Piece madness. But hear me out. Who says this has to be a horse? We actually don't have any confirmation what Stronger is. I mean, this is One Piece, where we found out a giant monk is a fox. Why couldn't we have that in reverse? With Burgess, we know that he had to have gotten his fruit after Dressrosa, as he was shown swimming after the Colosseum got shattered by Sabo, just like his face. But Stronger, I don't believe we were ever given an example of him in the water. So when we are first in Yeah, I think I think the Burgess one was obvious that he got it at Dress Rosa because he wanted the Marimera fruit for himself, if I recall, right? Like he wanted he wanted to win the Mer the uh, Meta Meta no me for himself. Like so he couldn't do that if he can if he already had a devil fruit. You know, unless Blackbeard has a strategy to give other people multiple devil fruits. I personally think that only Blackbeard could have multiple devil fruits because he's just special in some type of way, mostly because of the uh, multiple souls or multiple uh, people living in uh, Blackbeard, I guess you could say. So, or, or personalities is what I wanted to say. Multiple souls or multiple personalities. Like I, I like to think that's what allows Blackbeard to be able to consume multiple devil fruits. So I don't think other people could have multiple devil fruits, such as Burgess. So yeah, I, I think Burgess definitely didn't have a devil fruit during uh Dress Rosa. That's why he wanted the meta meta no me. And as far as stronger, yeah, I mean if Zebek had the Pegasus devil fruit, he could turn into like a, a horse like creature. And then maybe sprout his wings whenever he wanted. But why would somebody like Zebek be uh, reduced to like a, a, a mount? 
You know what I'm saying? To somebody else's mount, an underling's mount. Like, if he was Blackbeard's horse, I could kind of see that, you know? But he's like an underling of Blackbeard's. Uh, Like, he's the mount of an underling of Blackbeard, which is like a, a very low position to have in black in the Blackbeard crew. So, if Zebek is stronger, that kind of makes me think that Blackbeard doesn't look as a Beck in a, uh, or if, if, if stronger is a Beck, not Blackbeard. It makes me think that Blackbeard doesn't look as a Beck in a high, with high honors, right? With high honors. Introduced to Doc Q and stronger, we just get the notion that they are sickly. We learn from Doc Q's Viver card that Doc Q was born sickly and we are unsure of stronger's ailment, but I'll talk about that later. But so even in the introduction, this could easily be a person who had eaten the Pegasus mythical Zoan because as we know, especially with devil fruit proficiency, Zoans can go to various hybrid forms and in this case, it would be a human turning into a partial Pegasus without wings to mask their true form. Now, yeah, this yeah, sounds crazy, but it's not without precedence. I mean, Big News Morgans is apparently a user of the Tori Tori no Mi model Albatross. We have yeah. never seen any other form of Big News Morgans, but I'd imagine he's constantly in a hybrid form because he has hands, and birds don't really have hands. But we saw Big News Morgans throw hands in Box Cypher Pole. Then there's another popular candidate, shout out to <laughs> It's DZL on TikTok, who told me a while ago that he thinks Hattori is an actual cipher poll agent. And it got even more support when Robin said mass CP0 agents are in a league of... I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one because I feel as though if he was, if the, a little bird that, that Rob Lucci carries around was an uh, agent... I feel as though we would have learned that by now. You know, we would have discovered who he really was. But uh, again, you know, Oda and his master, his uh, masterful writing. You know, if 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 that is the case, maybe there's something bigger for Rob Lucci. Like we know that CP Zero is coming to um, Egghead Island at the moment, and if 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 Hatero or whatever his name is is indeed with Rob Lucci and he's a CP zero agent with like a bird devil fruit, then I would think that this would be the time to reveal, reveal that situation. But I don't know. I think Oda would have revealed that in back in, in his lobby though, personally, uh, of their own but then Hattori showed up with a mini mask supporting the idea that he might be a person. So now that we talked about not just the possibility that Stronger is not a horse, but also there's precedence for there to be characters masquerading as Zoan fruit holders other than Stronger by staying in their animal forms and reiterating that Stronger having a mythical Zoan on top of that makes them a healthy candidate for the 10th Titanic captain because why give a rare fruit, such a rare fruit, to a non-factor character? I think another notable thing is that Stronger's name, and even in the chapter when you look at it, Stronger's introduction is the most impactful. Stronger has the largest text on the page, and it's on the last page of the chapter shared with Blackbeard. It's super interesting when you look at it like that. Another interesting note That's here is point. that Doc Q can communicate too Stronger. I wonder if it's just camaraderie or if there's something deeper. And with that, I think Sai's favorite aspect of this theory is that it'll hopefully encourage you to like and share this video and enjoy this idea enough to subscribe. But real talk, Sai's favorite. Hey, y'all go subscribe to my man's Par Vision. You know, the link will be in the description box. So y'all go like the video, go uh, subscribe to Par Vision. He makes great content. Part of the theory is Stronger's name. See, the idea that I proposed was that Stronger could be masquerading as a low-ranking member when in reality they are the true mastermind. A quick Naruto reference that makes this make sense would be that Blackbeard would be Pain and Stronger would be Toby. For those that don't know that reference, basically what I'm saying- Hey, he, he, he actually hit it out the part for me of why I think when, when, I, when I talk about my, uh, when I talk about how I believe that 
Zebek could be the real leader of the Black Bear Pirates. I, I didn't want to say, but I was thinking in a Naruto type aspect, right? Where it's like, where it's like, kind of what he said, Obito being the real leader of the Akatsuki when the whole time we thought Pain was, even though it gets way more deeper than that when we talking Zetsu, Black Zetsu, and then we talking about Kagua, but in a more realistic sense where, because Kagua is kind of like an ass pool and everything, but in a more practical sense, where we got people thinking that Payne was really the leader of the Akatsuki and Obito was just some, some under, you know, some random underling, right? Where he was just a, a subordinate of Payne. But really, in, in, in reality, Obito was like the real leader of the Akatsuki and the Payne was just kind of a, you know, he was being manipulated you know he was really a follower and that's kind of the same logic that i get when it comes to blackbeard and zebek maybe maybe zebek is the true leader while while uh blackbeard or marshall d teach is the is really the 10th titanic captain you know he's really just the not the real captain of the crew he's not the one calling the shots he's just the figurehead i guess Saying is that stronger would be on the nose name referring to his actual strength being stronger than everyone else in the crew and possibly even also as an important member of the crew. And that's when we dive into some madness. I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't instantly think like this, right? But so when we were in the conversation of it, I was like, okay, well, who could possibly be the person behind the Pegasus fruit that would make sense for it to be so impactful to the crew dynamic that they'd have to hide their identity, possibly being stronger than Blackbeard himself? And that would be the character many of us have theorized to be somehow attached to Blackbeard. And I think this is arguably the funniest version of that theory. But yes, you probably catch my drift at this point. The character I'm talking about that makes the most sense for it to be stronger, if it were a human masquerading as a sick horse, would be Rox D. Zebek. If you think about it, this could explain a lot of Blackbeard's knowledge. If Rox was this accessible, <laughs> then this could serve as another way that Blackbeard could have known everything about Devil Fruit so far. Like one of the funnier yeah. contributions is if you remember when they stole Whitebeard's fruit, Stronger also helped Veal Whitebeard, which just seems funny in hindsight, and I just want to mention that. But then, as we know with Zoe and Devil Fruits, the hair is one of those things that gets transferred over usually. So then when I was like, wait, wait a second, if you look at rocks, we only get a silhouette and we don't know the hair color, but regardless, rocks should be old now. So what's even more hilarious is that Stronger's hair would kind of match up. Oda gave Stronger bangs to cover the eyes, but imagine that's how the reveal will be. You lift up the hair and you get a widow's peak and conquerors like eyes. While I'm sort of joking, I kind of do see the hair resemblance here, and now I can't unsee it. This feels like one of those fever dream theories, but we're not even at the upper limits of it yet. The fact that the hair could actually line up is one of the funnier coincidences. There was a lot of people in the various... I mean, it could, right? It could. And then maybe, maybe Zebek's hair is black. Cause I, I, I think Zebek's hair is black just based on the silhouette. I think, I think they would have made it. They wouldn't have made it as dark as they did if it wasn't black. Maybe it turns black, right? Like if he does transform like, or when he transform into his, uh, normal self, maybe it turns black. And I do like the idea that, Zebek is just hiding himself in Stronger. Even though, again, I still think Zebek is a part of Blackbeard. But if Zebek is hiding himself within Stronger or, or as Stronger, that could make for a dope ass reveal. Like, I will say that. That could make for a dope ass reveal that gets that, you know, that, that it's like a, a um, what do they call it? I can't even think of the name. Um, but yeah, it, it, it would be dope. It would be dope. Streams I had since talking about this that brought up a point that Rox could have been Lunarian, which is why Stronger has the silver, gray, whitish hair. But then again, if that were the case, then Stronger would have black wings in this panel. 
But maybe there's a way around that. Mm, but true. I think Rox having the Pegasus fruit would be such an interesting twist because the Pegasus is so close to the gods in the first place. And I'd imagine in... But if... But... Okay. Let's say... Let's say it's the case, right? Let's say... Zebek is Lunarian and he's a Pegasus. Like, so are the wings. Are they Pegasus wings or are they going to be Lunarian wings? That's what I'm curious. Like, which wings take precedent? <laughs> can can he have not have like two pairs of wings? His Lunarian wings and his Pegasus wings? I don't know. I don't know. I'm splitting hairs here. I know. I get it. But it's just it's, it's something I had to ask. In hybrid forms, rocks could just appear with just wings without a full horse form. But now let's take this theory to the next level. Keep in mind, this theory could be true in varying capacities. But with this next part, I want to thank Dak Sake for coming onto my stream and sharing such a memorable five hour stream with me, where he and I took this theory to the Super Saiyan 3 levels. So when I told Dax the theory baby, his thought was that it could be even crazier than that. But even with the craziness, it can still make a lot of sense. So trust me, let this one digest a little. And if you're enjoying this theory, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But anyways, he was saying that it might be that stronger is. Y'all go, y'all go like the video. Again, the link will be in the description box. So y'all go like the video and y'all go subscribe to the man par vision and go uh, subscribe to Dak Saki as well. He makes great content. He has some, uh, some pretty big videos I, i've reacted to his videos y'all probably if, if y'all follow me y'all i've reacted to him so yeah he makes great content though make great theories rocks but like literally rocks like the original rocks was turned to a statue which is why blackbeard potentially wanted boa's fruit yeah. wait what the original rocks turned into a statue but is still stronger how well, it would just be that the rock statue ate the mythical Zoan model Pegasus fruit. So technically, it's an object that ate the devil fruit, which could explain the stone coloration that Stronger has. And you're probably like, nah, but give me a second. See, I have my own various rocks theories. I think looking... A stone. So, ah, uh, that, that's confusing right there. So he turned to a stone, but was, is still able to turn to Pegasus. How? How is that possible? Like, how do you become a stone and then you can still pretty much unstone yourself and turn into Pegasus? Now, unless, like, unless, like, let's say, let's say my theory before where I said that Blackbeard has multiple souls, right? And, and Gekko Moria takes his shadow out from the from himself from blackbeard and puts it into like a zombie put into his actual body that would be zombified because you know it's been dead for so long after it was turned to stone right let's say instead he was turned to stone and his shadow was taken from the stone and put into pegasus i mean that could be the case i guess but i don't see him being turned to stone and then being able to turn into a Pegasus. Like, I don't see how that would be uh, likely, I guess. Looking back on my channel, maybe I have nearly three or four different rocks theories, and some can connect and some can contradict. But I've liked the statue rocks idea when people started bringing it up with chapter 1059. But yeah. there's two reasons why in this context, it feels stronger. So the weaker one first. I've always talked about how rocks might still be alive due to the wording Big Mom had in chapter 999. He said on the day rocks fell into ruin at God Valley. It's such an interesting wording because if you ask me about something falling into ruin, I think about something old falling apart. So saying rocks fell into ruin that day might actually line up with him turning into a statue and that statue breaking. Then maybe part of the statue was preserved and eventually ate the Pegasus fruit. So I thought when she said that, I thought she meant the crew like, the you know, like, you know, we call some people when, when people say the straw hats. You know, you might, you, you know, you call Luffy straw hat, but then you call his crew straw hats, right? So 
in this case, I thought when she said when um rocks, because rocks is spelled with an S, like rocks Diza Beck. So rocks could mean rocks Diza Beck himself, or it could mean the rocks pirates. So when she said when rocks fell into ruin, I thought she meant when the pirate crew fell into ruin. But uh, yeah, she could have been talking about uh, Zebek as well. I just, I got the pirate crew when she said that. So keep in mind, this is just another possibility that doesn't take away from the rest of the other options we talked about earlier. But the reason why I like the statue idea even more than anything else is because it actually explains why Stronger is chronically sick besides the possibility that Doc Q is poisoning the horse or the horse is also permanently sick just like Doc Q. Both are definitely options, but something I realize is that we actually have a precedence in one piece of an inanimate object eating a devil fruit besides funk freed. And it's similar to Stronger uh, in that point. Lasso was chronically sick for some reason. It could be a side. Good point. Good point. You know, inanimate objects because because stone would be inanimate, right? So if you give stone the devil fruit, I guess it could turn to a Pegasus, like a horse, right? So if Zebek is the turn to stone, and they gave this, they gave uh, Zebek statue a devil fruit, a Pegasus devil fruit. Then even in stone, he would turn. He would still come alive, right? He would still come alive because at that point he would probably be dead, especially if he was uh, a statue for a long time, right? If he was a statue for a few decades, you know, like we don't know when, you know, they got hold of stronger, right? So. He, you know, he's been alive for a couple, or he's rocks could be turned to stone for a couple decades. Which, after a while, you probably be dead, right? Like even if you was unpetrified, you would be dead. So, if they gave that stone, which would be inanimate at that point, a devil fruit, he would turn, he would come alive, right? And maybe stronger isn't aware that he is rocks these back. So. They're trying to unpetrify Stronger, like in his normal form, and possibly give him his soul, right? Like it could be that case as well. So honestly, honestly, my my theory with about Blackbeard having Zebek's soul could still be right in this theory, based on how uh, Parvision is positioning it, right? He's because he's talking about. Uh, Zebek turning into stone and then them giving the stone an animate object a devil fruit which brings it alive and Stronger doesn't seem to be aware of you know he just seems to be kind of like sickly and just like a horse right so maybe once they put once they unpetrify Stronger and then they put his soul into him or his shadow into the horse maybe he regains his conscience and he regains his his self-awareness you know what i mean so yes even with this theory my theory about blackbeard having multiple souls could still be right side effect of this kind of creation unlike funkfried who had their own problems we actually don't know where lasso was sourced from in funkfried's case we can say it's probably vegapunk related but why would a Baroque's work agent, Mr. Four, have any kind of assistance from Vegapunk? So it might be that there are multiple ways to get an inanimate object to eat a devil fruit, and that side effect gives the same running nose and tongue drooping sick look that Stronger has. That is why I like this theory even more. And I won't kid myself, given the timeline of this video, I didn't have time to fully research the Greek mythology behind the Pegasus, but while I was streaming, many people brought up the connections. Apparently, Perseus essentially created a Pegasus after slaying Medusa by beheading her from the neck. So like out of her neck came a Pegasus. So that kind of fits some aspect of the Boa situation. Mm. I guess Boa's neck game is really strong. You could say <laughs> it's stronger than most. But anyways, I'm sure all of you Brainiacs can find all the crazy cool connections there might be within the historical real world mythology that connects to this theory. I'll be interested to read those comments for sure. 
If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it out to as many people as you can, and subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. This Stronger is Rocks theory is becoming one of my favorite ones over time just because how goofy fun this one sounds. It feels like an Oda way to use a common anime trope and make it hilarious. At the same time, it's not so goofy it doesn't make sense and is still definitely possible. I think if Rocks was turned into a statue for example, then ate the fruit, that could be the restraint that remains on Stronger or Rocks until the end of the series when a major plot twist like this would be revealed. If there wasn't a limiter on rocks like that, then rocks could essentially show up at any point, which would still be cool, but you would wonder why at this point in the game, if it were rocks underneath that horse mask, why would they still be in hiding? What are they waiting for? But with that being said, I know what you're waiting for. You guys want more videos. I am looking to ramp things up very soon. So subscribe and find out what else I got cooking. And if you want to support me in other ways, definitely check my links in the description. All right, shout out to Par Vision. Uh, I'm gonna like, make sure I like the video. Y'all make sure y'all go like the video. Link will be in the description box. But yeah, um, hey, look, I at first I wasn't sold on the theory, and even now I'm still kind of on the theory. You know, Par Vision makes some great points, but I, I'm a little more sold than I was beginning of the theory, and that's kind of like what somebody pointed out, right, about the relationship between Pegasus and Medusa, right? And we 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 come up we we've come up with a theory, right? that maybe Blackbeard is trying, maybe Rox Dizabek was petrified. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was turned to a rock or a stone, <laughs> kind of like his name. Maybe Rox is a rock, right? So we, we've we come up with that theory, and we we also speculated that that's, that might be why Blackbeard is after Boa's devil fruit and... Then we learn a little bit about uh, Stronger having a Pegasus fruit in the recent chapters. So when you kind of think of a lot of the elements that we put, that we've gotten, right? With how Boa's relation to Medusa is, and then you know of Pegasus. And then we've also talked about Rocks Dizabek being turned to stone, you know? So he's connected with Boa Hancock. Uh, Boa Hancock's connected to Medusa. Medusa's connected with Pegasus. And now they're trying to connect stronger with Rogs Diesel back. It kind of does all connect to a degree. It all it, it does all connect. The idea, like, and I feel so even with my uh with me believing that Blackbeard has one or has Zebek's soul within him, right? Because maybe Zebek was turned to a stone and after a while he died. So that could leave like a transference of Zebek soul into Blackbeard. We know Blackbeard has Gecko Moria in his in his grasp. He also wanted Boa Hancock's Devil Fruit. So a lot of you know, my speculation was maybe Blackbeard wants to unpetrify uh, Zebek's body and and then use Gecko Moria to turn his his corpse into a zombie, like to repair his corpse. And then put Zebek's shadow into the corpse. That can still all come into play with this theory. If let's say Stronger was turned in, or, or let's say Zebek's body that was petrified, if it was um, given a devil fruit, a Pegasus devil fruit, and then it came back to life because of that devil fruit. Maybe Blackbeard is still trying to find a way to unpetrify Zebek's body or Stronger's body, right? Unpetrify it and then put the shadow into that body and bring back Zebek fully. So I'm not completely against the uh, idea. Once he kind of made it the weird, like, yes, Zebek could still be turned into stone, his body, it kind of leaves room for maybe you know, the whole shadow idea, right? So I'm actually I'm actually a little more sold on to the idea, but I don't know if I'm fully on board with it. 
But still, it was a great theory. It was still a great theory. So, yeah, y'all, that is the video. And, um, yeah, great video by Par. Y'all make sure y'all go show Par some love. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Comment down below your thoughts on this theory. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Let me know in the comments. Also, also, join my Twitch. Follow me on Twitch so you can engage with me in real time. And um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure you um, join the Discord. Go join the Discord. That is going to be the best place for you guys to send me videos to react to. Um, whatever, you know, if it's One Piece videos, I will react to it on a One Piece uh, Theory Day. That's going to be the best place for you guys to send me videos to react to. All, and um, yeah, that's the video today. You guys have a good day. It's your boy Sean P. The Bluff God, and I'm out of here. Peace.